Hey, everybody. Look, I made it, man. Oh, look at that. I, I forgot to bring my sticker. <laughs> oh, you have to go back home. No. Come again. I rode my motorcycle here from uh, Wisconsin. Okay. And then when I got here, the motorcycle broke. Yeah, it but broke. You made it here. Yeah. Just, I sold it. Just so. made it. Anyway, I made it. Welcome to Dead Horse Alaska, man. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Got it. Hey everybody, John if you can hear. Hello and good uh, good morning greetings from Brookshire, uh, Texas. We are empty and headed to Houston, Texas, picking up a load. If these professional truck drivers would only let me out. We are 40 miles to our shipper. I think we're picking up a load of tiles going to near Little Rock, Arkansas. GPS doesn't want me to merge onto Interstate 10. Really don't. I Google map the place. Looks like there's an on ramp right there. It wants me to keep going through downtown Brookshire. the traffic lights and all that good stuff. See, there is an interstate on-ramp. Oh, it's a skinny little dinky street. I think what happened was the original off-ramp was way over there, six miles away. And then it grew here with all these businesses and they never bothered to enlarge this, you know, the side streets. Domino's Pizza uh, Warehouse. You want to hear something really, really, really crazy? In a half mile, take the entrance to the left on I-10. There's a, uh, a male employee at Google, allegedly. 40-year-old male who was out for the night with the co-workers having a little bit of a drink and, you know, get together, get together around outside of work. And uh, I'm not entirely sure, but I think the female is probably white or no, probably Asian. Either, okay, I think, I don't know. But anyway, it, there's different ra mixed race. The male could be white or Asian. The female could be either one. But anyway, supposedly the male employee got zero point two miles. To take the entrance to the left on I ten. The male employee got fired because. He rejected the advances. Take the entrance to the left on I-10. He 
he got fired because he rejected the advances of the female. I mean, I thought, I thought companies are supposed to be all about uh, what they call the sexual harassment prevention, right? But the idea that you could get fired because you rejected the female's advances, that you were somehow xenophobic, I think the I think the guy was white. Yeah, I think the guy is white. The girl is Asian. And she got butt hurt for being rejected. So she made a complaint that uh, the guy is not exclusive enough. So the company fired him. But can you imagine if the uh, if the situation were reversed? If the female was Asian, the white guy was white, the guy was white, and it was the guy that made advances to the Asian. Yeah, yeah, what a mess. I didn't know there's a love truck stop right here. Anyway. You know, did you guys have seen the, the Grammy Award? Their dances were, they were all wearing, you know, wearing devil costumes and basically the theme of this dance was the devils dancing, blah, blah, blah. It's so sad they don't know the, the significance of that. Welcome to Cathy, Texas. Fort Bend County Line. So we're going to be exiting on exit 756, Sam Houston Tol Tollway North. Hey everybody, welcome to Houston, Texas. Did you know that Los... Keep to the right on, Sam Houston Tollway North, Sam Houston Tollway South. Did you know that Los Angeles is 1,533 miles from here? We are on Interstate 10 headed east, but if we were to go back and make a U-turn, Los Angeles is 1,533 miles, which I have run this road many, many times before. I haven't done that in a few, I don't know, five years maybe. So it's been a while. All right, we gotta take this Sam Houston tollway. 
we are down to 21 miles to the uh, shipper. times in the past I haven't done it in a long time but I I have mentioned many times in the past that I did live in Houston for about eight months really didn't care for it that was one of the uh, difficult and painful part of my life when my dad died I just wanted to get away from Sheboygan Eight months later, we were back. In a half mile, keep to the right on Sam Houston Tollway North, Sam Houston Tollway South, and then keep to the left in 0 0.3 miles. All right, which lane do we need to be in? Uh, we need to move over. In a quarter mile, keep to the right on Sam Houston Tollway North, Sam Houston Tollway South, and then keep to the left in 0 0.3 miles. Yeah, this is the part I don't miss. The traffic in Houston is just awful. Karen once again many of you have been asking about the update on my truck your grace three to four weeks ago my boss said it's gonna be three or four more weeks before they get it out it's still not out so that's the latest. The uh, compound turbo blew up on it. That's got to be more than six months ago. Three miles. By the way, the temperature here is 66 degrees. And I've actually got bugs on the windshield. Hammerly Boulevard. I think we're delivering to Maumel, Maumel, Arkansas. Right off Interstate 40. And then deadhead to Russellville, pick up a load there going to Manassas, Virginia. All right, everybody. Uh, Rand McNally Overdrive 8 GPS Pro is telling me that. Getting off at Ella Boulevard. And the shipper that we are looking for is also on Ella Boulevard. Some kind of a tile, something. Two miles away from the shipper. 
That is if we don't get lost. Ha ha ha. scale. That's good to know. That is beautiful. Chances are we're going to get a cat scale ticket once we get loaded. In a half mile, turn right on connecting road. Migrant glass. Three miles to the shipper. In zero point two miles, turn right on connecting road and then approaching destination on the left side in twenty feet. Left side. Esmer tile. That's it. That's it. Right here. Right here. Right here. This is where we are headed for. All guests must check with the guard. I can barely hear you. Good afternoon. I'm here for a pickup. Okay, can I get down? I got a big problem right now. I got a big coolant leak. I mean, giant coolant leak. I don't think this is gonna I'm not even gonna attempt to load it look my coolant is already giving me a warning sign So I think I'm just going to park right here where I'm away from anybody. Yeah, I don't think this is going to work. No, so let's go around. told the security guard I said you better let me go somewhere because if I stay here a little bit longer I'm not gonna be able to move the truck so my goal right now is to find a safe corner somewhere and park it investigate it and if need be you know be stuck until somebody comes and repairs because this is not just a leak this is like it's oozing out and I don't have enough uh, 
coolant with me to replenish this question is do I even attempt to they gave me a door door 11 do I even attempt to dock it in door 11 and then call a road service or you know what I mean might as well I guess That way they can load me while a repair service comes back or here. But the problem with that idea is that what if they can't fix the truck? Load it and hope for the best, maybe? Kind of an idea? Do you see the trails of puddles? The leak? JB, gotta go, gotta go, JB. Let's go investigate this. Oh boy, oh boy. What a mess. All right, here's the latest. Um, called Long Haul Larry. He said it's some kind of a manifold, probably a coolant that goes to the uh, fuel tanks or the transmission to keep it warm or cold or whatever. And uh, as of now, 
I am completely out. I mean, everything is gone. Look at that. It's gone. There's nothing left. And I only have about a gallon and a half left of uh, coolant in my bunk. And um, we are loaded. The boss has called service. They're going to be here in a couple hours. So we're stuck here. We're not doing going anywhere. That's the latest. Welcome to Trucking World. <laughs> All right, it's been uh, it's been about four hours, and here comes the Love Service truck stop. He's got to go way around the building. Meanwhile, I would imagine that. Uh, the radiator is completely dry, empty now. Even with the truck not even turned on, it was still leaking. And as you can see, there is no shut off valves here to turn off reservoir is completely dry who knows good afternoon sir How are you? where are you headed to Illinois Chicago oh my wife is up in Wisconsin they got like six inches of snow up there I live in Janesville Janesville Sheboygan. Oh yeah? Yeah. I'm surprised you only got six. I mean like all total or just this season? Or what's so the far. Place? They had six inches so far. Oh, they live right on the lake too. But you know, I, I'm not complaining. I think we have a lot less snow this year than last winter. Yeah, we've been getting, well, where I live in Janesville, we usually get By the time the season's over, we usually have about Hub cover fell off. I'm not a fan of shiny wheel covers. They don't do nothing for me. I slept for a little while. Had the windows, uh, little door here open. Good afternoon, Mr. Columbus. All right, all right. I love your name. Thank you. I was waiting for your, uh, the message. I've never got it. This phone, man. The guy's doing this new system, and everything is messed up on it, man. I never received the, any, any of the video or anything that you said you were going to send me. Really? Yeah. Here, I'll show you. Here. So the yard shuts down. They close at 5? I don't know. Oh, damn. So, let me uh, do that again. It's just, it's just spewing out. So, even if we can get you out of here, it's going to start spewing out again, huh? 
Yeah, even with the truck not even running, it's still... It's still, it's still going to come out, yeah. So it's not on the drive thing side, it's just... So the, Gravity is, you know... The, the owner was telling me that supposedly the, shop, the yard closes at 5. How many uh, coolant did you bring? I brought 12 gallons. try at least get you out of here and then that way if we need to pick okay. up that pump, do you want to crawl underneath yeah, there and look at it I, I, I have to call and report in let them know i'm here oh okay this phone's not letting me do it so i still haven't got any information from you it's still loading <clears throat> you see a lot better on the other side is, is it not on this side it it's on this side but you could see it better from that yeah i'll get a flashlight for you Somewhere there's a little hub over the years on there. So what? Can you see a light? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, somewhere there, right? Up in the rails. So it's, it's not one of these lines here. It's, it's it was. It looked like it was coming from on top. You want to put in a couple of gallons so you can see where it leaks? Yeah. 